So for today's WordPress tutorial, I wanted to take you through some options for uh, adding a newsletter subscribe form to your website and how you can start um, collecting a mailing list and the different options for creating newsletters for your mailing list using WordPress. So number one, the easiest option is to use a Jetpack subscriptions module. You may have seen them on a bunch of sites. It's a really simple form on the sidebar that says subscribe to blog. And one once um, you update your site with a blog post, everyone on your uh, mailing list will get a, um, an update in the email with that blog post. So in the back end, what that looks like is um, if you go to Jetpack, it's already installed on uh, your self-hosted WordPress website, but you need to activate it with a WordPress account. Um, very valuable to do so. There's a lot of modules um, that you can use, but um, so what you want to do is you go to your settings section and then search for the subscriptions module. Uh, I think I, okay, so it's right here and you'll see when you have, you'll see activate like you do here, but I already have it activated. So uh, once you activate it, if you go to your widgets area, um, there we go, you'll see this new blog subscriptions jetpack widget and you just drag and drop it to your right hand side, I already have it there. Um, and uh, then when you go to your website, you'll see that you have this new uh, subscription form added to your sidebar. So of course the look and feel will change depending on your blog theme, but uh, basically it works the same way. You will add, um, subscribers will add their email address every time they, they wanna be updated with a new blog post and um, that blog post will be sent to them. This is a sample of what the confirmation form looks like as soon as they subscribe. It's uh, pretty standard. There's not, unfortunately, there's not a way to modify this. Um, and once they subscribe and confirm, you'll see new users will appear here in your user section of WordPress. And um, so that is a really easy way to get started from right from the get Go, which is really smart um, when you don't have time to create a really personalized newsletter. Now, um, the second option that I was going to show you is a, a little bit more sophisticated. It's the MailPoet newsletter plugin. It's a really popular WordPress theme, and it does just a little bit more where you can actually modify uh, what your newsletter looks like. So if you plugins and add new and search for MailPoet, newsletters and uh, if you activate that theme you'll see that there is a new mail poet section here on your sidebar so um, I'll just go to newsletter section and I'll start my first newsletter draft okay here's a draft I previously saved before but I'll show you how you can add posts like the one above. So this is all editable here. It's a, you get a visual editor and you can easily edit your newsletter. And there's a drag and drop feature on the side. So if you wanna add a new blog post, you just drag and drop. And this is a really cool part. You can actually select the blog post that you want to add. So I have the, this is just a local host um, site that I have here, so I have a bunch of dummy content. But anyway, you get the idea. And you can also add um, some styles here. You can change the colors. At the top, you can put in your logo. If you have, uh, you can add an image. And um, so if you save this, and then you can send it to your list, save it and make a schedule. If you wanna do a weekly, um, it allows you to do that. Or if you wanna do it manually, subscribe whenever you have, uh, when you feel like you have a, a lot of new blog posts that you wanna to send to your subscription list, then you can do that. So that is a really, um, really neat uh, WordPress plugin 
um, to create your own newsletters right within WordPress. The only thing I want to mention about this MailPoet newsletter plugin is that you're um, a shared hosting account. If you're on a shared hosting account like Bluehost or Dreamhost or any one of these guys that they have in this list here, uh, GoDaddy, there is a limit to how many emails you can send through your account because they're not really um, a dedicated email server. But um, so for instance, I'm using Bluehost and it will limit me to 70 emails every 30 minutes and 150 per hour. So those are some kind of restrictions that you should be aware of. And also the MailPoet plugin itself is free up until 2,000 subscribers. And then it asks you to uh, pay for the premium version. But it's not a bad thing to start out. And the premium version is actually really inexpensive too. So it's not a, not a bad tool at all. Then the last thing I wanted to talk about, of course, is MailChimp. MailChimp is a really popular... Um, newsletter uh, um, kind of app for bloggers. It's uh, fairly inexpensive and it easily integrates with WordPress. So here is a really popular um, MailChimp for WordPress um, plugin that you can add to your site, which also gives you that sidebar newsletter subscribe form and automatically will add those users into your MailChimp account. And MailChimp is free up until 2,000 subscribers and then you have to pay um, a small fee, which is pretty cost effective for um, a lot of the alternatives out there, which is probably why it's really free for bloggers. And it lets you, uh, it has templates and is quite a sophisticated uh, email newsletter app. So those are the three options you have that I suggest for starting your mailing list in WordPress. And um, I hope that helps you out and I'll see you next time.